All right, let's see if we can do this without actually breaking it. You ready? What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina. I want to start this video out by saying just how thankful I am for all our subscribers, all our viewers out there. And with Thanksgiving right around the corner, we should always be thankful for something. And first and foremost, from Lake Hickory Scuba, let me see, say thank you to you guys for subscribing to our channel, watching our videos, and sharing our videos. It means the world to us. If it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't be able to make this video. Speaking of this video, what I'm going to be showing you today is actually how to remove the extender frame from the Ocean Reef Full Face Mask. And then Neil Harvey asked us if we can make one because he says that his extender frame is very, very tight. And first of all, Neil, it's supposed to be tight. We don't want this thing just popping off, but I'm going to show you how I remove it. And the reason that I would want to remove it is anytime that I need to service my full face mask obviously I'm gonna have to take the extender frame off to take everything else off and let me show you real quickly how it is so come on in here with me and I'm actually gonna do the side here where my uh, comm unit is first thing I'm gonna do is remove the comm unit and once I've got it removed that's gonna give me a little bit of room to play so we're going to take it off all together. Now, the way this mounts, the band that goes around the mask, real quick. Oops, drop my ring. The way the band goes around the mask here, there's these two little uh, poppets or little nipples that are on it, basically. And these just seat down over it. And there's these little center pieces to the extender frame that you want to be careful of. They are easy to break if you put too much pressure one side or the other. But what I'm going to do is take my fingers and I'm going to get up underneath it. Now, I don't want to be here on the edge. I want my finger completely up underneath it as far as I can up towards that pin. And then I'm going to take my thumb right here and I'm going to push down on this piece. And as I pry up, prying up not on the edge, but prying up on this piece and pushing down, it should pop free for me. So I'm going to get up underneath it, pry up, and it pops free just like that. Now you can see that little uh, knob there, that little nipple area, and that little piece that I pulled off here. As you can see, it's not broken. It's still in place. And of course, the same thing. You would just work your way all the way around, getting your finger up and going all the way around the mask. And then when you go to replace it, you just kind of line it back up, get it in the center there and press down until you hear a snap. And it snaps right back on, just like that. But Neil, I hope that kind of answers your question on how you... Uh, take off your extender frame. It's a very easy, simple procedure. You just got to make sure you get enough of your finger up underneath that. And then I like to push down on the button as well. That kind of helps prevent it from breaking whenever you take it off. But great question. I was glad I was able to get this uh, video out for Thanksgiving for you. And once again, guys, thank you for being subscribers. Thank you for watching our videos and definitely thank you for sharing them as well. That's one of the things that we're thankful for this year for Thanksgiving. We're thankful for you guys, our viewers. But guys, if you like this video, simply smash that like button for me. Definitely share it as well. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.